Hey guys, RC here, back with Music War Empire episode 6. So, last episode turned out a little weird because I went so long, uh, I actually went almost an hour, uh, and then after I recorded it, I said, you know what, I'm gonna convert that into a two-parter, you know, and we'll have a weird cut in the middle, but that way it's manageable. So, that was an extremely long episode. Uh, so we're back with episode six. So because I've got a second band, this is something I have done for myself. I've created a little spreadsheet, you know, with, with my spreadsheet program. And uh, so I have my band, then the album, release date, single. I do three singles per album, typically. Uh, but I have the single release dates and then the tour date. And what this does, it helps me see based on the date in the game, where I'm at to judge when I want to do something else. Uh, so I don't have to stop every single week and look around and, and browse. Uh, so the only thing that I'm doing right now, I just, uh, so I have gone ahead a little bit. We're up into May. I think we were in early March at the end of last episode. So Heart is on tour. Uh, Iron Maiden is getting ready to go back out on tour. Now, I'm focusing only on the U.S. right now, uh, but I am going to start expanding a little bit with, with Maiden uh, because I want to start expanding their um, interest level, and I want to start releasing albums in other regions. But you don't want to go overboard with that because, remember, how slow it was at the very beginning with the with the initial record. It's going to be that slow. You know, we could have a we could have a huge hit record in the U.S., but it's going to be you know, and we could sell out like we have been with the thousand and fifteen hundred seat clubs, and we're going to be back in hundred to four hundred seat clubs in Canada or anywhere else in the world. So you might ask yourself, well, should I should I go to more areas? Well, you know, typically you want to start in your home area. Um, and, and again, this just takes a lot of time. You know, it's just like anything else. So I was reading a post earlier today. I, you know, I jumped on uh, uh, the Steam community for Music War Empire. And somebody said that they think it takes two to three years to really develop an act in an area. So, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. One other thing, if you go up here to settings, I don't uh I don't know if this works. I have not gotten any pop-ups about missing uh goals or anything else, but if you go into settings and then this was unchecked, but I was still getting the goals. So it says what you do is you check it hit update, then go back and uncheck it and update, and then send forward a week. So if you start a new game and you do that right out of the gate before you sim that first week, you should be okay. I can't vouch for it. All I can tell you is I did it. I've simmed about two months and I haven't gotten any more of those annoying uh, missed goals and reputation hits. So uh, something to think about. Uh, all right, so let's go into the bands, just kind of show you what they are doing. So Heart, you can see, released their album March 20th of this current year. So it's been out for about a month and a half. Uh, the first single came out March 9th. Second single came out April 6th. And May 4th was the third single. And they're on tour till May 24th. So if we look at them, uh, that confirms here. Uh, let's go back. I want to look at their profile. So we can look at their shows. So 140, 144, 150. I think most of these are pretty close to, if not sellouts. They're in smaller clubs. 179 out of 200. So even the ones they're missing are pretty close. 233 out of 233, that should be 300. So they're pushing right, they're, at the end of the tour, they're gonna be pretty close to 100%, I would think. Now, if we scroll down, 
you know, they've got, um, you know, 10 more shows on this tour uh, throughout the U.S. And, you know, they're touring everywhere. Uh, I went ahead and did uh, the the quick booking. And one thing I did note, you'll notice here, medium arenas are about a thousand seat clubs. So I'll show you that in just a second with Iron Maiden, because that's who I used medium for. Uh, this would be your tiny clubs, I believe. Uh, basically uh, 100, you know, 150 and smaller. Uh, this might be small. I don't know. But anyway, uh, so they're on tour. They've actually made $9,634 on the tour. I've done no production, uh, not even the d dismal or whatever the first notch up that costs like $5,000 a show. Nothing. They're, they're just out there with their own amp and, uh, and guitars and drums and no PA. So no PA and no lights. <laughs> so if we look at their discography, uh, Shake has uh, been on the chart. They sold 420 last week, 1702 lifetime, all streams. I don't know if singles can actually sell physical copies. And I'll show that in a minute. Uh, Time Goes By has also come out. Uh, 410 last week, 1112 lifetime over four weeks. And of course, True Blue uh, came out four days ago, but it takes that full week to generate sales. So don't forget that. Uh, and shows we talked about. So they're going to be, we're going to need to book a tour for them uh, here in a short period of time. Uh, you'll also notice uh, the, the base screen, you can move and it will stay there. But anytime you click anything, the uh, anything that has the the pop-up screen, it's always going to come back to center screen. Nothing you can do about that. Uh, let's see. So Iron Maiden. Let's look at their profile and discography. So what I did for these guys is uh, Killers came out, their third single on the album. Uh, 485 last week, 2593 lifetime. You'll see that I pressed 5,000 copies, but they haven't sold any. So I don't know if singles sell in physical format. If they don't, I don't understand why they'd give you the option to even press them. So I would just say stay away from physical copies on singles. Singles are just to kind of get people to hear a song and then want to go buy the album. That's how it used to work back in the day. Uh, <laughs> now everybody just goes on to iTunes or whatever or Spotify and 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 picks individual songs and misses out on some hidden gems that every album tends to have that were not released as singles. Uh, so remember that. Also, uh, well, anyway, I'm not going to get on my high horse, but support the artist. I mean, you know, they get a very small percentage. I think on iTunes for a full album they get like the band gets like a dollar and if there's five people then that's split 20 cents a piece and then they've got to pay their out of that they've got to pay their attorneys their personal bills before they get the you know coke and heroin and everything else and their mansions and ferraris uh so you know that's that's why bands can sell millions of records and and not make any money uh, but anyway, that's getting off onto a different subject. Uh, Killers, the album. So we debuted at number 41. Uh, we sold 1,285 last week. We're up to all 74,594 lifetime over the 18 weeks that the album's run its course. Uh, I pressed 5,000 more just to give us enough. So that was last week. So We've, you know, we were just about to get to a, th you know, a hundred percent. So 33, that gives us 6,000. So we have about 6,000 left. So enough for about six more weeks at that rate of sale. So that's kind of what I was hoping for. So here is the, uh, I forgot to change the, the tour name. That sucks. I wish I could go in and edit that, but I can't. Uh, so you can see, again, they do duplicate a lot but what this does is it also saturates a market so you know you get like i'll get four bumps in the southeast uh you know i'll get two bumps in the northeast two more bumps in the northeast so that's actually kind of neat um 
you know, I do like maybe looking at, at other things, but, you know, booking a tour, especially a long one. This is uh, 36 dates is what I went with on this one. And that was a long tour. Uh, so that's this is medium size. So Anchorage Heights is 800. And then Salem Hall, just to glance, is 800. Yeah, a thousand. So, so it's it's. I'm gonna put. In fact, I'm gonna change this to less than one thousand. All right. So that's gonna be. You know, I'm gonna sell that out. I should sell that out immensely. But anyway, uh, they're on tour till March. Uh, till. Well, wait. July July seventeenth now. So. Let's get just let's just roll. Let's roll for a few weeks and just see what happens. I want to get to the end of the heart tour. And then I think I'm going to have them go practice. So let's see. This is 524. I'm going to give them a practice break. Uh, one of the other things, you remember I said you want their morale to be as close to 100. So with Iron Maiden, I actually made some notes. So at the end of their previous tour, they were at 89.5 morale. I simmed one week with them doing nothing. They went from 89.5 to 93.5, so an increase of four. And then I went another week, and they did an increase of three to 96.5. So three to four per week if you're doing nothing. I don't think practicing hurts them. I don't think it does. So let's go to heart activities. I'm gonna set them to band practice. And see, this is why you kind of want to know because keep in mind, they're coming off the, off the road on May 24th here. But even though we're I'm in that week now. We're into May 22nd. Even though I haven't run that week, this week, I can't put anything in it. So we're going to set them to practice here. And then, you know what? Let's go ahead and book another tour. And this is going to be the Heart 2020 Summer Tour. We're going to stay in the U.S. We're going to still keep that. We're going to go with no production. And I think they were doing, they, they were selling out at 10. I'm going to raise them to 15. And we're going to do a long set, which is 36 shows. Let's do small. Now you can adjust this right here. I can adjust that out if I want, but it looks like it defaults at 36. And we can start that. Looks like they have, I think practice dates are in here. Uh, let's, let's start them up the end of the month. Nobody wants to open. All right, so we're in 300 and, you know, three, four, 500 seat arenas. I think that's about where we want to be. So that was going with the, so this will be less than 500 and that will be small. Isn't that what we just chose? I'll have to go back and look to make sure. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. So they're going to now be on tour until August 19th. So we're gonna change that out to there. And again, you kinda want your album to run about a year because you know, a year, see, from what I remember, and this is only what I remember, and it's been a little while since I played this, is that the life, the life, the lifespan of a, an album run is just at a year. So, you know, you, you release the album, you tour for the for a year, then you put out a new album. So that's that's kind of what we're going to do. So with Maiden coming off the road in July, knowing it's going to take them three months or so to record a new album, 
we'll probably have them go back into the studio, practice a little bit, and then go in and record uh, at that point. So this will probably be their last tour for this album. And then we'll shelve that. Um, you know, we can keep pressing if it keeps selling. And there's, you know, there's certainly an opportunity for that. Now you can see their morale's down to 86. So, you know, but we're May 22nd. So with all the touring, they're taking that morale hit every night. And every night, you know, their shows get worse and worse. Uh, so they're not getting quite the boo the popularity boost in that area that they might. Uh, but, you know, now, now they're going to have a week, two weeks off. Hopefully practicing doesn't cause any issues. And then they start another tour. So they're going to have about a month, four weeks. If we do, you know, if we're three to four percent morale a week, four weeks should be 12 to 15. That puts us up 98 plus. So we should be good with a month off, right? That's the philosophy. That's that's my thinking on that. Uh, we are making money. We're up over seven million. Um, I might. Damn. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna go to my office. Now remember how many people we saw when we did our talent searches. Remember we did the small search and. We're going to do a medium search. More money, longer time. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to go with hard rock, male. We're all male on this one. Because I'm looking for a certain band now. I'm looking for my favorite band. And my next two bands will probably be my favorite band, and then one of my favorite bands of that 80s genre. So, but I want to see how many return returns we get. Do we get less people but better quality? Do we get a bigger pool to choose from? We'll see. But that's going to take four weeks. So let's just start blowing through this. Um, if you guys have any questions, if there's certain things you want to see that I'm not showing you, let me know. Uh, and I will certainly do my best to dive in and show you certain screens or information or, or whatever else. So March, May 29th, they're back out on tour. High energy. Way to go. Somebody thought Maiden was uh, heart was too high, but they're still selling out, I bet. Uh, look, a news ticker, Punk Heart Approaches Chemical Kills. Uh, okay, well, I cannot. That's just news, but that's the first bit of news that we've had, right? So, cool. We'll, we'll go another week. I want to pop in and take a look at Maiden. You know, I do want to spot check, you know, when you've got physical copies that you're looking at, I do want to drop in on there every once in a while just to make sure we're not blowing out our our stockpile of sellable uh, albums or CDs or whatever. So we're still selling a thousand a week. We've dropped out of the top 100 uh, here in the last couple of weeks. If we look at our chart trajectory, debuted at 41. Dropped to 50, stayed in the top 100. We actually had a rebound. We were at 98, jumped up to 94, back down to 97 before falling out of the top 100. And, you know, we've been we've been meandering around. We had another slight rebound here for a couple of weeks, and then we're tailing off again. So, you know, this is telling you that, you know, there's there's some some up and down to it. But, you know, for most of it, the album's starting to tail off and, uh, you know, we're we're kind of coming to the end of that particular album, which is OK. I mean, you know, that happens. Uh, so let's see. Let's close that. We still have enough physical copies. I'm not worried about selling out here anytime soon. OK. 
Okay, and let's go ahead and go one more week. This should get us up to our new band, or at least looking for our new band. I may not choose them. By the way, if any of you guys have tried, we talked about it um, last episode, two episodes ago, I don't remember. But we talked about the, the real world mod over at the developers forum. Uh, let me know if you've tried it. Let me know what you think about it. All right, so talent search. That's not a lot of people, right? I got one singer, two guitarists, two drummers, and a shit ton of bass guitar players. And only one of the singers can sing worth a shit. So, yeah, that's that's something I seem to remember that... Now, does this maybe... Yeah, I, I don't know that that does anything for me. Um, I certainly don't want a 31-year-old singer. Um, yeah, I'm going to say that's... Now, I don't know if I can... We'll just skip over it. Uh, well, we're going to... Back, oh, we're going to back out of there. Uh, we're going to decline. All right, so let's go back to our office. Our office. Uh, I, I have looked around. I cannot import logos or pictures after setup phase. It doesn't appear. So, uh, But I was able to resize my Raging Cajun logo, so I will try to remember to use that next time we play. Uh, you know, I don't know how long this will go, but you know, we're gonna just stick with this, right? Recent titles, Heart US. Okay, uh, so let's go back to Talent Scout. We're gonna go with. See, it's weird that you know we went to Medium and just didn't get shit, right? Uh, location. See, we can only search in the US, which is okay. So we're gonna go back to the small. Two more weeks. And we are, let's check our date. How are we doing on time? What the hell? Hockaflot has invited Hart to play at this year's music event. Interesting. It's not a huge, it, it, this is a festival in the U.S., 70% popularity. Well, hell yeah, they're going to go, right? Hell yeah, they're going to go. And, of course, Iron Maiden, I realize, is a British band, and these are Americans. Sorry. That was actually an oversight on my part. Wasn't even thinking about it at that time. I just had Iron Maiden in my head, and oops, I uh, just realized that. Uh Let's see. Okay, so let's go to bands, heart, activities, and Hockaflot, Saturday the 8th. So August 8th. So I'm going to add festival August 8th, 20. Uh, if you are a... Uh, crime historian you should know what august 8th is 1969 in los angeles california right off right not too far from the sunset strip uh was the charles manson murders uh where sharon tate jc bring Wojtek frykowski stephen parent and abigail folger were murdered uh bizarre bizarre crime uh and then of course the next night august 9th was the uh la bianca murders where they they went out and murdered uh an old elderly couple uh farther up in in the city anyway that was your history lesson for the day <laughs> all right we should be at two weeks here so we should be able to take a look at possible Band members, mm, not yet. Uh-oh, something was off. Uh-oh. Well, I think what's going on, is you can see, they're down below 47. So this is your quality of the show. Now remember, 
I think I, I think your your pyro, your lights, the the you know the the budget you put in for that ups that you know it ups the enjoyment of the show right now these guys are out there with a basic pa system and you know like a three light light set that's it uh very basic stuff so they only started at a 63 and that was at their best now this is what's weird and i don't know again i don't know if this has to do with playing multiple locations but they sell out right 800 out of 800 and then the very next night only 171 200 out of 800 and then the next night 800 back-to-back -back sellouts and then 788 out of 800 so you know we're selling out a lot I don't know what that is it might have something to do with overall popularity in Florida Compared to these other areas, I don't know, but it is what it is. Uh, double check in our album one more time. All right, so the album's dead. We still have physical copies. We sold zero, so the album's dead. So this is the end of this album. That tells you it's time to get off the road. Nobody else is buying it. Because remember, the whole goal, and this, this is based around the old 80s and 90s concept before the internet, before streaming. You recorded an album. You got some radio airplay. You put media out, right? And then you toured. And then your touring got people out to the show, which made people go buy your album. And that's where you made your money as an artist was selling albums. It's the complete opposite today. That's why they put them up on YouTube and whatever, and you can stream their songs for free or, you know, whatever. In most places, you can stream them for free. and But it's to get people to come out to the shows, and that's why they tour but don't release new music anymore. It's because they're making money on the ticket prices, T-shirts, you know, merchandise. That's why they sell tickets for a hundred dollars plus now instead of the 20 and 30 dollars it used to be uh because that's where they make all their money and they they've got to get all their money in that one shebang uh instead of getting you know five or ten million album sales they've got to get the equivalent in ticket attendance uh so anyway so that album is dead uh we're gonna finish that tour and we're not going to get to August, which is disappointing. I want to see how uh, that festival affects heart. I want to stop before I get there. So we might go a little long here. We're at 28 minutes. Uh, but I do want to get to, well, no, we're going to have to come back next episode because I want to go in with the band and we want to set them up. So look at this. We went tiny and just you know this is i mean let's let's count scrolls here so we had like 17 people 99 artists on a t tiny you know we went me on a small we went medium we only had 17 or whatever crazy all right uh singing all right well you're out you're out uh vocals Mm, live sex appeal yeah that's not who i'm thinking about that's close and i'm okay with that there's our guy all right dawson morrison is our lead singer all right so let's go down to our guitarist don't mind a guy that's a tad older Popular instruments. Ugh. That's a little low. Mm -mm. Not really. Uh, let's keep looking. 23. Mm -hmm. Possible. Possible. 
I don't mind if they don't match up exactly, but for this band, I'm really focusing in because this is my favorite band of all time. He's definitely not controversial. He can song right. He's not the sex appeal. Jameson Kaufman. Controversy live. I like that because I think he's an excellent guitar player. So let's go with him. He doesn't have to song right. Um, most of the songs are written by one guy anyway. All right. We definitely want to go with a younger drummer. Creativity. Big. Mm, I'd like that to be higher. And that should be something higher too. I wish there was a way to filter that up here, you know, where I could see everything. Uh, tch, 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 tch. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't know if S plus is higher. It might be. It might be. So that would actually be good. Good. Yeah. I mean, that's close. I wish the popular instruments was better, but we may look at him. Can I look at this guy? There's our guy. I think we're going to go with him. Emilio Collier. All right. Now this last one is going to be the key guy. Uh, let's see. Pretty close. No way in hell. Definitely not. Definitely not. Nope. I'm going to say that would be a no because songwriting and controversy. Nope. A little older, but that's good. He doesn't qualify. <sighs> he can't play. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, that's not going to work out. 19. Oh, this is backup singer now. Shit. All right. Uh, who was that one guy? Damn, what was his name? Is this him? No, that's not him. All right, we're going to have to go back through him. I've got to have an A in songwriting. All right, I'm going to, that may be the guy we have to go with, have to go with. Because I've got to have him be a top-notch songwriter. Wrote some of the biggest anthems of the 80s. Had a number one album. Any idea who I'm talking about before I put it down? Put it in the comments. Okay, we're into backup singers. So, yeah, I think it's this guy. That's who we're going to go with. All right, last chance to put in your guess for the band. All right, so we've got bass All right, there's our singer guitarist drummer bass player four piece there you go boys the crew Tommy Nikki Vince and Mick I signed them to more than five. <laughs> uh, 100,000, 360 deal. We're going to make the offer. Boop. All right. And let's go into, so first off, we're going to add the guys here. Motley Crew. Uh, let's go to Bands, Motley. I'm going to put them in the practice studio. I'm going to do that. I want her to practice again. I'll give them a few days off. Confirm. And then I want to work on 
uh, working title. Uh, we're going to leave that untitled. Uh, we're going to have songwriters from the band. Oh, there's the songwriting. Okay, yeah, so he, he can be a songwriter. Select and close. Uh, artist choice. Uh, we are going to go with production. I don't know if any of them can produce, can they? Production, production. No, they suck at production. Uh, professionals. So we're going to need to find somebody relatively cheap. You know what? Screw that. Uh, it's going to be the same two guys. I know that's going to be, but again, it's zero dollars. This is not going to be their album. This is going to be their lead up shit. This is going to be toast to the town, stick to your guns. Um, let's see. So what you can also do is this tells you what the bands are really good at. Controversy, sex appeal, create a live mainstream. So you can then go and find the like, you know, so this one, for example, is 9% production. All right. Well, their production is shit. Right. So we don't care about that. 20% mainstream, okay? 10% creative, okay? So that's possible. You know, it's not the worst. 80s nostalgia, mainstream, creative. Where's the other 25%? Well, we'll add that one. And they'll write songs in that genre, in that in that theme. But they, you know, you don't have to have a theme either. So, but you and you can have up to I think 5, maybe 6 activism ad addiction mainstream controversy creativity that works against the man controversy that's that's all motley crew right uh, not all grown up uh, <laughs> the band was supposed to be called christmas instead of motley crew all right so i gotta i gotta run my wife's here she needs me outside to get groceries but it was time for a break anyway so put a cut here uh, I am going to continue on getting Motley set up uh, with the album, and then we'll get them in the works. We'll get our little chart updated, and then we'll come back and we'll sim and talk a little bit about the three bands and see how things are going. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated, guys. Pound the like button, subscribe if you don't mind, and we'll see you next time. Don't forget questions and comments below. Much appreciated. You guys, I appreciate you. Take care.